Line of Light, a one-off special event in London celebrating the Northern Line extension. With searchlights marking the underground route in the sky and 3D projections along a designated walking path between the two stations. And we're starting the vlog from arriving at Battersea, actually on the other side, where we're going to set up some first shots. Well, today I'm being joined by Olivia. And actually only Olivia, Alex decided to play games with his friends because it's half term, so yeah, that's okay. But Olivia wanted to go with me and I'm so appreciative of that. And we are joined by Martin. Martin is the Martin that I mentioned to you in the last vlog that uh, managed to get me a ticket for um, the uh, Millennium Mills. And now actually I owe Martin as well for another uh, thing that's going to be coming up in the future so Martin's the guy if you want to know cool things that are happening around London and as we are at the Battersea power station viewpoint about 10 minutes early I decided to quickly set up the uh, slide for troll to get a movement over this barrier uh, in a short five minute time lapse when the 3d projection mapping actually starts and when it did start, I decided to preview the move while shooting on the Slidepod Pro in video mode before I started the time lapse, just to see what I would be getting. And here's the time lapse. Look how much more light is being gathered in a raw file rather than in a compressed H.264 video file. I did like that move, but I decided to do another one, starting from somewhere much more below the previous one, just to get a little bit more of that beautiful parallax and motion slider system offers. Okay, location one done. Now we're heading across the bridge to Battersea to, well, actually see it from up close and yeah, explore all the other cool 3D illuminations that are here. This bridge is honestly one of my favorites. Olivia likes it too. Uh, nothing to do with the current illumination walk that we're doing, but just how it's illuminated. It's beautiful. And the illuminated river project will, I think, go as far as, not this bridge, but the next one. But they're not gonna do much to this bridge as far as I know, because it just needs to stay how it kind of looks already. And it is quite pretty anyway. So we are here on the jetty where the projectors are. Quite a big set of nine projectors. But then it is a absolutely massive 3D projection mapping project. Spooky maze. Shall we go, Olivia? We did it, we're out. This does look pretty cool. It was pretty awesome indeed, but it was time to hit their second location. Installation number two, pretty cool. But a lot of maths related things, so uh, Olivia didn't quite like it. But I did. I was actually quite good at maps when I was young. But anyway, I didn't time lapse this as there was no clouds. This was the only thing moving and there was a big construction gate in front. So I just couldn't think of a decent composition. Not part of the uh, line of light, but I've actually never been underneath the famous swimming pool that connects two buildings that has the see-through uh, floor. So yeah, this is the perfect opportunity to actually see it. Beautiful angle to vlog and we are just underneath the infinity, it's not an infinity pool, it's a swimming pool with a see-through floor. Pretty cool, I do want to go and swim there one day. Illuminations on these buildings were definitely one I wanted to see, but now that I'm quite close to it, it turns out that it's a static illumination. It's not moving. So it's worth a photo, but not much a video. This one's also pretty cool. I really like it, even though it's static. It's something that I believe more buildings should have more often than just two days at a special event. Got 
the other side of the road to actually get a better perspective of the illuminations on these two towers. But I really like them, like they look really cool. They change three or four different static illuminations, but they're really nice and colorful, really add to the building. Really, really like these. And that one. And they just turned it off, awesome. <laughs> Lol. projection small one on a small building of the map of London with some digital colorful art pretty cool we've made it to the next point on the map which is the Fentiman Arms and this is looking pretty interesting too I quite like the colorful illuminations on this pub again quite a lot based around the map of London I like the fact that the last couple of ones are a moving projection but it moves so quick that it's not quite a time-lapse thing, hence I'm only showing you video. Next point, we reached St. Mark's Church. Really cool colorful projection. And, well, you might as well hold it, Olivia, if you want to be behind the camera. Oh, there you go. I was just looking at you. Ah, hands-free. So much better. Yeah, really cool projection. Lots of color. I really like it. Another one that is quite hard to do a time lapse about, even though there's well standstill traffic here at the moment. there I can see the oval that's the last projection on the line of light and before we get there close I think I'm gonna set up a quick time-lapse here with all this traffic leading towards the um, oval projection and even though it was a static projection that was changing every couple of minutes I still enjoyed this because there was traffic in front and I think this makes a pretty decent editorial clip that might sell well last stop of the line of light right opposite the oval and the beautiful projection at Hobbs Gate. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to figure out how can I put the slider and sort of shoot it without the gates in the shot. Let's see how we get on. There was a small area past the gate that you could walk onto but it didn't offer any special thing to slide through so I decided to use the gate and set up the SlidePod Pro to pass right next to the gate and I thought that looked pretty decent and offered nice parallax and after this shot I recomposed and wanted to, to drive past the gate through it to reveal the whole illumination inside the oval gate and i like how it turned out just as the illuminations were about to be turned off as they were only running till 10 pm managed to get that shot oh this is my favorite one and finishing up with olivia's favorite 3d illumination of the oval i would like to thank you for watching this video and hopefully you enjoyed some of the time lapses that i shot i really liked one that i shot through the gate uh, just a moment ago and for videos like this as well as videos about the best views in london uh, you can subscribe to my channel but i have a dedicated playlist of videos that are all about fireworks and cool illuminations from london and wherever i travel so you should definitely check that playlist out if you want more videos like this and that's it from me today see you later guys <laughs>